Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time. Um, we show you the junk that we purchased out thrifting. We tell you a couple of things. One is how much we paid for it, and the second is what we're gonna sell it for. There's a lot of it today. There is a lot of great junk here. It's actually one of my more favorite hauls, if there is even such a thing, because I love all the junk. It's the most favoritedest. It's the most favoritedest. Um, if you like videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we do all kinds of junking situations here. Also, give us a thumbs up. And if your friends like this kind of stuff, you can share it. Um, and we're going to get started. Everything that we are going to show you is already pre-listed at jrvhome.com. So if you want to shop along, just hit the Saturday Thrift Haul collection and everything is there. So Zeb's going to set up comments. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Zeb's going to be monitoring comments for the first little bit and we're going to go through a, a large section of stuff and then we're going to get started painting while I keep going through stuff. So it's that not way... that different. We just veered away from it about a hundred lives ago. We <laughs> used to do it all the time. We used to intermittently <laughs> do stuff so we're going to try um, to get things done. So the very first thing we have is the quilts. Would you grab those over there for me? Yes. These are kind of funny. We were buying stuff and I realized that I had repurposed my um, car quilt. I keep a big quilt in the car to protect the car from massive amounts of junk that I carry and <laughs> it I, got put in the entertainment center because yeah, it's an old quilt <laughs> it's an old tattered quilt and I had I needed one extra so I'd repurpose that so we bought these and used them underneath stuff but they're actually really really cool um they're crochet these are crocheted I think I'm like 99% sure it's crocheted not knit right I uh, sure gosh they're handmade I don't, let's I don't give know. it that I don't know these things all right so I paid, are the price tags still on here? $2 yeah. each for these. We have, This one's like a purpley blue zigzag lap quilt. And then Zeb's is a pink, but also has purple in it. Everybody knows that purple's my favorite it color. It looks like they may have come from the same quilter. Oh, I think so too, because they're both the same um, size. And similar with like the fun thread zigzag, in the middle that yeah. kind of changes colors. Really good condition on both of these, I would say. And they are $16.95. Um, let me activate these. Thought, Caitlin, are these active now? Maybe not. Caitlin's on here dropping links. So if you're watching the replay, check out the comments because you can actually see the links to everything. Or you could just go to the Thrift Haul collection. It's all there. Les, how is that even a thing? She said she went thrifting today. She bought zero. I don't know that that's ever happened to me. How does that feel? If I I don't, I don't think so either. Like I try <laughs> sometimes. Well, there has been, a, there have been a few We've times. We've had some, a few dry thrifting hauls where we're like, uh, yeah, we'll walk, calls. we'll walk through like all the aisles and be like, ah, there's only like three things today, but well, it doesn't have, happen often. I feel like there's been times that haven't we looked at our carpet like that wasn't worth like checking yeah. out more. So Stacy right, and, and uh, Suzanne both confirmed crochet. All right, sixteen ninety five for these, which is a steal if you've ever crocheted anything. Yeah, I'm gonna. I paid two here. bucks though, so I'm passing on the good deals. Oh, hey Jody, she says she's new here, but she loves our channel and has got a lot of great ideas. Thank you for watching along with us. All right, so next, this came from my neighbor. We got this cute lantern. Um, the light inside is broke, so we're gonna remove it and make it a candle lantern. And then, yeah, so the top comes off, and we're just going to pull this plug off of it, and uh, I don't know, should we paint it? It's got kind of like a brown no, rust color. No, I'm going to it, but, but it has this base, and I was going to paint the base. It is vented up here, so you could totally burn a real candle down in there. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to take out the middle, we'll cut the cord off since the candle's broken, and then it's, sorry, <laughs> it sits on this cute little base here, and I think we're going to paint that. So because it's kind of like a hot pink. And the hot pink and the copper just aren't friends, but I think if we painted this aviary, the aviary and the copper would be friends. <laughs> Leslie commented, it, it happens to her all the time. I'm assuming that's the going thrifting without finding anything. And then she said, we can't all have DIs in our neighborhoods, LOL. Well, like it's true. So this it's one true. was free because it came from my neighbor. I got a text yesterday from, uh, I was gonna say Marlene, Mailing. Yes. I know her name, Maylene. <laughs> She's like, would you like this? I was like, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's got the glass still. Sometimes when we find those at the thrift stores, the glass is all broken out, which you could take the glass out if you wanted to. Well, and she told me, she said, I'm sure you guys could fix it. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna rip out the broken candle. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna fix it. All right, 
1995. What's for next that, on your way. list? Um, ornate clock. Ornate clock, not the rolling pin. Three dollars for this clock. Um, and the mat, we're gonna keep it the way it is because I actually like the finish that's on this, but the mechanism is broken. So we're gonna put in a new clock kit, which is cool because we have like 300 clock kits from our last craft box. It's a long story, but I got a discount for buying 500, so I bought 500. So Zeb, you, I need you to put new clock. Mechanism. New clock kit. In there. Otherwise, I think it's is really it, great. Is it just loose? Well, you, either you fix it or you replace it. One or it's the other. just loose. Let me, let me, I'm gonna, I'm I gonna think you look have to poke at it that. for just a moment while you show well, I go another to the next thing. Item. Yep. Okay, this is a carved solid wood shelf made in Thailand, it says. It's got hanging hardware on the back. It was $1.50, and I'm going to sell it for 19 dollars And I'm not going to paint it because blonde wood is all the rage right now. And I really like this wood. It's not yellow. It's just like a nice blonde wood. Renee said she got unsubscribed randomly, even though what? she's been a channel member forever. Renee, Jamie's sister, just got back from Hawaii. I was super jealous the whole time she, she was there. She was sharing time. all kinds of pictures. All right, so this is the chunky rolling pin. It was... Price unknown. Would, do you remember how much this was? Because the price is gone. Um, so that one, they gave it to us for the same price as this one. It was $2.99. Okay. Which, savers, always get 20% off because I am in their club. And if you spend 100 bucks, you get 20% off. And I always spend 100 bucks, so I always have a coupon. So I got it $12.99 less 20%. And it's not $12.99. 99 less 20%. I'm not painting it. I'm just going to leave this as is. Mm -hmm. um, and it's $12.95, which I feel like is a really good deal for this big Bama Jamma. So this is like a regular size candlestick, and this is the chunky one. Regular, chunky. All right, the right. <coughs> Careful with that. My piece of toast, I must have had a little bit left. We had toast for dinner tonight. <laughs> your mom always says if you got a scratchy throat, eat toast. It must have scratched your throat. Maybe. I don't know. I like toast. All right, $2.99. We're going to paint the handles and sell it for $10.95. Sabrina, we have bleached wood. We have a video on it. We sanded an entire piece down and bleached it. We bleached the top a few times of, on like dressers and things too. Not, it turned out great. Not to say that we were the first, because we weren't, but we did it like two years ago. Yeah, it's been. And now it's all the rage, but we again we did it two years ago. <laughs> Just say that. It's funny because I'll see things and I'll be like, yeah, we have a video on that. We probably should redo it because the videos were a few years back, and our, I feel like our video quality is a little better, but. Yeah, we've done, I feel like we've done almost all the things. So two things are happening. I'm either breaking this or fixing it. One or the other. You be the judge. All right, so these I picked up for $2 each. But guys, I found a fish before, I found a rooster before, but I've never found a cat. So the fish and the rooster, they're aluminum with copper on the outside with a brass there's some that are like copper colored, but these to me look more like they're actual copper. I could, I can neither confirm nor deny because I don't have a copper test, but they look real to me. And I love, love, love the little brass handle on them. They're all the same maker. These are $12.95 each, and I'm selling this one for $14.95 because I ain't never seen a copper cat before. So that means it must be valuable. <laughs> that must mean that that's or, what that is. Or Sorry guys, I've been so focused on getting this fixed, yeah, but Zeb's I think I got it. Yeah, that's in charge of comments tonight, so if you're commenting and he's not reading it. Elaine has the same cat, and I've been reading comments. Oh, Elaine has the same cat? Yep, she just said Well, then it still must be worth a lot of money because Elaine has great taste. All right, next, just a cute little heart mold. This one is $9.95. It's got a little brass topper. Again, I feel like when they have the little brass toppers, they're a little bit better made. This is solid. They have some that are like chintzier um, aluminum, but this is a nice heavy gauge. And I paid $1 for it, I don't know where the tag went. And these always sell really well for me. Hearts like this always sell well. And it always reminds me of Jean because Jean loves hearts. So um, Kelly Renshaw just said that they're still in lockdown and she doesn't think the craft stores are gonna open until June or July and she's super jealous right now having withdrawals. That's that's Sorry. a bummer because we're pretty much all out and about here now. I remember. For the most part. There's a few places. Jean's on here. We got lots of hearts. Hey, Jean. Um, so I remember when we went thrifting. It wasn't at DI because DI took a lot longer to open than the other thrift stores. Mm -hmm. We were at Savers in uh, Draper. And 
I was just smiling from ear to ear because it felt so normal and so good and it had been so long and everybody and nobody you, you couldn't see that everybody was smiling because we were all wearing masks but you could tell that like every person in that thrift store was probably a junker like us and was just so happy to be back there and I feel like you don't know how much you love something until it's gone and then when it's given back to you you appreciate it that much more so I try to remember that every time I'm in a thrift store how much I love shopping there all right and on that note this is a I have zero clue um, but we bought it because I thought would this not make the most awesome paintbrush holder look at that so I paid three dollars for this and I'm selling it. And I said it's spinning and I lied. I'm sorry. It's, it's not a spinning. It's not a spinner. So, but luckily if it's you not got little, If yet. you had a bunch of little paintbrushes, it's still pretty good to organize those. I yep. Think. I'm going to get rid of the word spinning there. And I'm selling it for $16.95. Uh, I was thinking spices. No, unless you have spices and vials. Let me go grab a paintbrush. Is Zeb okay? Yeah, I'm fine. He's working. I'm working. I'm hyper focused on getting this clock fixed for you. And I, it requires a little glue at this moment, but I think I we've got to, it. I also, the front you. porch, Kai asked how the, oh, they, there you go. Boom. And you can have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I think there's 11 holes. I got one. Just can't wait. A lot of brushes. So Kai asked how the front porch is going and how long it took. It's still a work in progress. <laughs> Um, it's been all day. We've got everything hauled off, all the demos done, and we've got cement poured where we needed to, where the bricks left gaping holes because we took all the old adobe brick out of the columns. And I think that's, that's about where we're at. It's apparently <laughs> a pipe rack from what I've been told. Oh. That's what the comments are reading over here. A pipe rack um, for what? We don't smoke. So. Oh, that kind of pipe. Yeah, like a smoking pipe. Man, someone's uh, got a lot so of pipes. So, Les says, I'm not going to read what Les said, but whatever. We're going to use it for paint brushes because that's the kind of channel we are. At the second I, in fact, Zeb, didn't you see this? And you're like, you didn't buy it. And then I was like, no, that's for paint brushes. <laughs> so, all right, small little creamer. I paid it a whole dollar for it. Not old, but super cute. Love the style. Um, $6.95 for this one. Creamers always do well. Never pass them up. Never discount buying a little creamer. Rashonda well. says tonight it is a paintbrush holder. Tonight it is a paintbrush holder. When you don't smoke and don't haven't been around smoking or pipes, I would have not even thought that in like a million years, which is awesome that you guys are on here because you can set me straight on things that I don't know. All right, trifle dish. I do know what that is. Trifle dish. I don't dish. know pipes, but I know trifle. It's right here. And so does Zeb. This one is special Man, because it's- do I know trifle. Right? Layer of cake layer of pudding, layer of fruit, layer of whipped cream, and repeat. So this one is special because it's fluted on the bottom. It's nice and heavy. I think I paid $2 for it. The tag is missing. These always sell really well. If you don't use them for trifle, they're also really great to decorate in. To put like in Christmas time, I like to put different color Christmas bulbs in here. Um, and we are selling this one for $19.95. I always like them. There's something that I feel like people kind of pass over and don't buy, but if they're good, nice, heavy glass, I would get them. What Lynn, did Jean says? Um, Jean says, no. now our mouths are watering, they all want trifle. <laughs> and I missed Lisa's comment up above. She's saying the problem with being in Canada is that if you cannot quickly buy, you miss out on things. I think that's same here. We go, some, sometimes if we're slacking or we've got a project in the morning, and we go thrifting in the afternoon, it's like a whole other ball game. Yeah. And we have to get real creative. But you know what? We buy a lot of things that not everybody is fighting over. Yeah, that's true. Because we think I, see, I see people in the thrift stores with like TVs and old video games and stuff. I'm like, guys. I'm like. Go hey, buy yourself an old crusty rolling pin. Paint the handles. Sell it all day. Okay. So this is a galvanized iron, but it has an antique copper finish. Look how big that is. I paid and it's, three it's, it's dollars it. for it. It's got a dent in the side here. We're gonna hammer that out. Maybe. Um, but we're gonna paint this because it's not actual copper. It's just painted on copper. So it'll look really great painted. And then we're gonna sell it for $39.95. But look at all the yummy texture. Painted, that is gonna pop. All right. All right, just showing you guys. 
fix the clock is working. So I'm gonna paint it up and done. Okay, next we got these frames. But I'm gonna leave this, uh, no, I'll put it back in. So I have two of these frames. I paid $6.99 each. They're gonna get painted. They're like a really chunky look. Oh, Kaylin says all the items are now live on the collection. They must have been delayed. So if you've been watching uh, live and you couldn't find the stuff, it's up now. So $49.95 for these. And I paid $6.95 and we're going to paint them. I might paint them and put IOD transfers on them. Sometimes I like to go like with a transfer over the mirror and over the frame. But I love how chunky the frames are. They're wood. They're not plastic. Um, and they're very heavy and I like that they have like the clippy do's on here and the wood on the back like it's just really really well made there yeah Tom commented that time was flying when I was spinning the clock Tom is you're funny Tom, Tom. <laughs> some days I wish time would fly like that but some days I don't I've got right now and for really the last like five six years I've got the long day short year syndrome yes <laughs> last well, week the recipe box sold in like oh, super, super fast. And guess what? This one's even cooler. It's like a similar family of color, but look how cute that is. And it says recipe and it's green and it's all like chippy and amazing. Um, and inside it says food tip. Quick and delicious foundations for cream dishes are made by cutting the crust of slices of bread, buttering them on both sides, fitting each one into a muffin pan and toasting it in a moderate oven until the corners are lightly browned. So it also comes with a food tip. So Jackie Brown said that that big tray you just had is great for like boots if you're coming inside, you got that in your mudroom or whatever. Um, yeah, you could do that, but I feel like it might scratch your floor because it's like metal. Ah, so you put some color but I'm gonna paint it, so probably not for the boots once I paint it. I mean, you can do what you want with we're gonna, it. We're gonna go table center piece. Uh, yeah, I was thinking like coffee table would be a really awesome one, or if you have like an ottoman where you need something stiff, because the ottoman is fluffy, you put a stiff tray on it, and then you can put books and decor and stuff. So I paid $1 for this, and I'm selling it for $9.95 for this recipe box. All right. What do you got next? All right, next I have- Is it I time for me to start painting? We've almost cleared off a space here. The plant basket over there. Plant basket. Followed by this bunny. This has got the good white kind of chalky look on it already. It could be a trash can. It could, you could put rolling pins in it, I guess, if you wanted to. I don't care what you, I just thought it would be good for a plant. Put a, this put a like a plastic potted plant in there. Yeah. Or real plants, whatever. Uh, $4.99, we're gonna sell for $14.95. It is a really good size. I'd say this is a good 12 inches, maybe longer. Hold on. So Anna Warren, while Jamie's looking for that, we do not combine um, items from Jamie Ray Vintage Home with the paint from Jamie Ray Vintage because oh, I was wrong. 10 uh, a lot of times it's like shirts and things Buy and if the paint inches. blows up in there, we don't want we don't want that ruining all your stuff. We also have two separate website teams and website like managers. So it's yeah. like two separate teams because we have so many items, stuff would fall through the cracks if we had one website. So we split them into two and we have two separate teams. That oh, the bunny's next. Bunny, bunny. Is that getting painted? I don't know what's getting yes. painted tonight. I didn't, I didn't. A dollar fifty and this one's getting painted. I want to, I'm going to paint this one like the last bunny, copper with white wax and it's going to be twelve ninety five, and it's losing the raffia. Sorry if you like it. If you it. love it, it's gone. It's going to go. Hold on. The raffia bow <laughs> has got to go. It's there free. You go. Look, that's, it's like 20,000 times more cute than just That's better without. right there. Raffia had its time in the place in the late 80s, early 90s, but we've moved on. All right. Careful. Okay, small marble dish is next. Uh, $1. And I'm going to sell for $8.95 for this marble dish. Now, this is one I think you could probably use like a pester and mortal as I was called when you you grind your spices I'm asking you a question oh yeah mortars yeah so it's probably the bottom to that but you could use it for anything it does have a chip you can't I tried to photograph the chip but you can't really see it but it's like right there see it but I still thought it was pretty great we're gonna sell for $8.95 for a marble little base you could even do a little succulent in this that would be so cute all right you can start painting 
All the candlesticks are getting painted. So All the candlesticks. Let's Friday show later. them the candlesticks and then I'll paint them. Okay. Let me I'm get... ready to paint. I've got paint right there. Okay. Which one? It's over you... there. I've been reading comments. Mostly, you know, I always love it. You guys just chat back and forth among yourselves on these live videos and Jamie and I show you stuff. <laughs> I don't know what color the tray is going to get painted. Sorry. I can't commit right now. Um, so these candlesticks first, because you want to talk okay. about candlesticks. So these were kind of spendy. They were uh, $6.99 and $8.99, and we're going to sell them for $29.95 for the set painted. If they weren't this lovely stain of orange, I would leave them as is. If Lolly's on here, sorry, Emma, the orange has to go. It's very um, Halloween. So we're going to paint it. It's like an orange stain. It's bizarre. But it'll be much better painted. Okay, so these ones are next. These are also gonna be $29.95. This one, the little one was marked $5.99 and the big one was $4.99 and they gave them each to me for $4.99 because the cash register thought that was weird. So- Gianna, I don't know what, oh, they gave, they gave you the pricing? Yeah, they gave me the lower pricing. So those are gonna be $29.95 for the pair of those. Okay. Um, do you want to paint more candlesticks? Um, no, I'm good for that for now. I was okay, just going to say, Gianna, I don't know what I'm painting these yet. I don't. Yeah, you'll have to um, You'll have to wait and see. They might be a fun mix of things. I mean, I'm kind of like a wild card when it comes to painting stuff. Like, you don't just paint. never know. Oh, Sally Bones Wall, Super Chat. Love the sheep. Oh, we love our we're sheep. loving them too. They're <laughs> they kind of quirky. They're kind of quirky. They got out this morning and they wouldn't even go back with, cheat, with uh, treats. And so Redrick says, just pick them up. So I like bear hug. We'll call it a sheep hug. I sheeped hug Chewy and held them like this. And when you hold them, they just go limp. They don't move. They don't try to fight you. They just go limp. And so I just held, Chewy just kind of went. <laughs> and, just took, and then Han, which is the bigger of the two, he's the white sheep. Um, Redrick grabbed him and he went limp too. But when Redrick's holding him, he almost is as tall as Redrick. Redrick's almost as tall as me these days. Yeah, Han's bigger. He's Han's probably big 40 boy. pounds or so. He's yeah. like eight weeks old. He's like 40 pounds. Imagine that. These are going to get painted too. Um, these were $4.99 and $6.99 and we're going to sell them for $22.95 painted. So I painted a little bit extra. The candlesticks are really fast. So it's, you don't always have to make a million dollars on them. Rashonda, I agree. This is not a great orange on these candlesticks. There's good orange and then there's like... I don't know. It, it wouldn't be bad if it wasn't like trying to be a stain. It's the mix of the stain. Okay, we're gonna go back in order now that you've got something to paint. Oh, the Dutch bowl. This one's really cute. It looks like Delft, but it's not. It's not like marked or anything. I paid a dollar and I'm gonna sell it for $6.95. It's got like the windmill on that side, a little boat on this side. The color's really good. This cobalt blue color is everywhere right now you're seeing it on a lot of ironstone um and this is definitely like stoneware type cast but no marking so 6.95 for that one which i feel like it's a really good deal they've been talking about food and it started when you were talking about hey. the uh the trifle or whatever somebody commented the other day on our channel they're like you and Zeb were a lot skinnier when you were building a house. I'm like, yeah, I didn't eat. It's burning like 8,000 calories a day. And I was working 20 hours a day, but guess what? Couldn't I'm not anymore, <laughs> and I like food. So then I'm probably healthier now because I actually eat. I'm not killing my body. All right, so this milking stool I paid $15 for. I'm not painting it. It's got a really great worn finish. And I'm going to sell for $34.95. It's actually a vintage stool. It's not like a repop or anything. And these always sell really fast for me. I don't know if where you live, if they sell them fast. And for me, I've noticed they sell at, as fast, if not faster, if I don't paint them. People like the earthy natural wood tone. So unless it's like a orangey wood, I tend to just leave them like this. If the wood is gross or they've been painted, I love to paint them and like stencil a number on the top or a cow, just because it's a milking stool. It's kind of cute. So I was ready to paint, but then my paints went on a walkabout. Went on a walkabout. All right. But now so I'm ready again. Not painting this one, leaving it as is. This is perfect too. If you guys have retail stores or boots, always buy things like this, even if they aren't fast sellers. There's some glue on that. Um, because these are perfect to put different heights. You always want different heights on the top of your dressers and things so you can merchandise up and around. So, so Sally just said, Jamie, you always look great. Thanks. 
thanks. Even on Saturday night after I've been doing masonry and <laughs> Zeb and I both showered, so my hair is air drying and I have nothing but uh, glow. I have washed my face and I put my JRV glow on and that's it, no makeup. I could have made up, but then I would have had to wash my face again. I got church in the morning, so I had to get ready and shower and shave my legs so I could wear a dress. So it's a whole situation on Saturday nights and sometimes I shower before our lives. All right, where's the big tray? Oh, you put it over there? Uh, yeah, I'm, I moved it off over there. So I've got Sandy Blonde. I've really actually been loving it. I'm gonna put it on this orange and then we might dark wax it. Okay. I think because I've been liking the Sandy Blonde with the dark wax lately. And like I said, I'm the wild card painters on here. You know, you never know if I'm gonna paint blend, if I'm gonna mix paint, what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna paint something like bright orange that should just be painted white or black, you, you don't know. So this tray was $1.50 and I'm gonna sell for $28.95. Sorry, toast, <laughs> $28.95. But and we're gonna decoupage it or we'll wind up putting some IOD transfers on it because it's a nice big flat surface. So it'll be really cool redone. Um, but I think it's cool in the back, it says Tigo bonded plywood, cam filled process, Toastmaster hospitality tray. McGraw Electric Company, Toastmaster, Toastmaster Products Division. It's from Minneapolis, Minnesota. So I won't be painting the backside because it's got the provenance, which is like where it came from. But we'll paint the front side and I'll paint this inside lip and leave the bottom unpainted and then we'll do some decoupage paper or a transfer or maybe a big stencil. Shaving your legs in the summer is a bummer, especially, you know, so I know quite a bit a lot? about shaving my legs. <laughs> Because during Tell football why. season, season I used to get taped up, right? And it would pull. I, I literally have like a bare amount of fur on my legs. And so I was tired of my hair getting ripped out every time I got taped up. So I shaved my legs up past and my knee, in fact, because that. the first time I did, I'm like, oh, dang, that feels so good in the sheets. <laughs> it actually, fresh, fresh shaved leg day is like the best. Like you hop in the sheets and they're all soft on there. And ironically, Harrington had a similar situation when he was in wrestling and in football for t you know having to have things taped up. And he has to ask Odilia questions on like. I remember how to the do first it. time he shaved his leg though. It looked like a crime scene in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, dude, what happened? Dude? Odilia did not give him good advice. All right, so <laughs> this big wooden bowl I paid five ninety nine for, um, and it's a hand wash only situation. But once I paint it. It's going to be like a spot clean with a rag situation because you're not obviously going to be like submerging it in water, but I'm going to paint and wax the outside. I will not paint the inside. So that way if people, I mean, I could use milk paint on the outside and still be food safe, but if people want to use it for food or to let dough rise, then you could still wipe out the inside and it would still be very useful. So when I do bowls like this, I do just to the top of the lip and I'm going to sell for $22.95 which for this big bowl, they usually sell really, really fast. So Sally has a question about IOD molds. I would like, or transfers. I would like to put IOD transfers on my cupboard, but it has wax. Can I still put it on? Oh yeah. Yeah. Once so that I, wax is cured, I you would can say totally put it. if you're like a ways out from it being waxed, you're fine. If it, the wax is pretty fresh and it's not cured yet, then all give bets are week. off. So if it's over a week, or if you live somewhere humid, maybe give it a little bit longer, but I've totally waxed underneath tra transfers before. Um, there's been a few times I've waxed a piece and thought I was done, and then I came back later and added a transfer, and it was just fine. Remember that desk when we put those lemons on it? Zeb, do you mm -hmm. remember? <laughs> someone, has... someone shaved their legs the other day and said, uh, their husband said that they might need the weed whacker. <laughs> That's what I was reading when you were calling. <laughs> So one of us has ADD and it's not Seth. I'm very focused. I can focus all day and like ignore everything else going on. So <laughs> when I read comments, I might interrupt Seb or I might miss things or I might get off kilter, but I can usually do like multiple things at once. But when Zeb reads comments, it's like, wait a second. That's why I'm we're starting early in the kids. show. That's why we're starting the painting early. Which is not be funny if Zeb was over comments, but that, so if you notice a different vibe tonight, it's because I am more calm because I'm not reading comments. And Zeb is hyper-focused, might ignore you for a minute or me because he's reading. And if Zeb's reading, like he can't hear me. Yeah, I, I read every single word, very intense reader. 
Yeah. Very intense. I'll like read something. I on my add phone. inflection in my mind. I'll read something on my phone and be done in like 30 seconds. And the Zeb will be like, I want to see. So I hand him my phone and I'm like 10 minutes later. I get he's all still the reading. All right. Two nine. Actually, I paid $2 for this. It originally was $2.99 at Savers. Then someone dumped it off at DI and I got it for two bucks. Cute little rocking horse. I'm not painting it. I'm just going to sell it for $9.95 because we've decided that we cannot paint everything. So some things you get a little better deal on. Um, it does have the holes if you want to add the hair, but I actually think the color of wood that it is, just the natural wood tone is kind of nice. Especially if you had a bunch of color going on in a nursery and you need some natural wood warmth. I like this one. All right guys, before or before and after, the sandy blonde, I feel like it's really, it's going great so far. It's really changing these and giving them it's a whole a new vibe. Improvement fast improvement. Okay, let's talk about these cookie molds. Haven't found any for a long time. I was finding them every week. They're Christmas. I know you're shocked. I buy Christmas year round and it's always the first things to sell. I keep thinking I'm just going to hoard it until Christmas actually happens, but it, it always sells really fast. So um, we have one that is brown bag, brown paper bag. It's the Santa and it's from 1989. And this is from brown bag. And they're all $9.95. And then I have a stocking, a nutcracker, and a gingerbread. These are all Wilton 1997. So still 24 years ago. Yeah. How is 1997 24 years ago? I don't know. I was I was just I was like a freshman and a I was it was the Stop end of my friend. freshman year. It was yeah. a good year. Alright, so they're gonna be I paid a dollar each. For these four and I'm gonna sell them for $9.95 each. So it's a pretty good, I always sell a ton of these. People collect them. All right, this one is Zeb's find. And it turns Ooh, out- Zeb find. Zeb find, I, I do everything fast. So I shop fast, which means most of the items you see I bought just because I'm a fast shopper. Although some days Zeb goes down the aisle before me and I like the stuff he picks, but I'm like, dang it, I wanted to find that on the shelf. Like, I'm glad it's going home with me, but I wanted to find it. <laughs> because it's not so much about making the money on it, it's about finding it while you're thrifting. Sometimes. And I also like money too. I mean, that's, that's always fun. All right, so five bucks. This is a metronome. Oh, that's one of my things. Yep. Seth Thomas is the name on it. Seth Thomas clocks. And I love the way metronomes sound. I don't know why. Ta-da! Some of these sell for up to 100 bucks. I actually didn't take time to Google this one, so I'm selling it for $22.95. So maybe it's a deal. Maybe it's just an average sale. We're going to leave it wood because it's not super dark. It's a good wood color. And... You know, it's it's in good shape. It's not beat up. It's doesn't it doesn't have like a ton of wear from a thousand people touching it. This is good. Well, and I don't want to mess up whatever situation this has going on. I don't think painting it on the outside would hurt it, but well, there you go. And you put it underneath that lip. Oh, they said that's a great price. All I right, think good. it would just be cool. Like even if you're not musical, it's kind of one of those pieces. Everybody yeah. knows what it is. It's got some interest. You set it up on your mantle or put it on a nightstand or something. It's just fun. Or you could put like the all seeing eye on it from the Masons because <laughs> it looks like an obelisk. <laughs> also an option. That's what I thought. I was like, that looks like, what's that? Those books called, you know, the, that it's got that guy in the movie that then it's, he goes to Washington and he also goes to France in the Louvre and there's oh, like all this undercover stuff. Come on, you don't know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know what you're talking anyways, about. Angels that's... and Demons? But before Angels and Demons, there was another one. Oh, I don't know. But anyways, that's, that's what I was thinking about. It's a movie and a book by Dan Brown. But who's the guy? Tom Hanks. Yeah. That's who's in it. P people are I haven't probably... watched but it. People are probably commenting. They've been talking a lot. And, you know, mostly they've been saying how my color is awesome. Well, you are awesome, Seb. All right. And Gail said the Da Vinci Code. That's the movie. Gail, you're my home girl. All right, so uh, made in India, solid brass. This is vintage from a company called Gatco. Um, so nice and heavy duty. It's a Jack B. Nimble candlestick, $1.75, and I am going to sell it for $12.95. 
It's not super tarnished. I kind of wish it wasn't as shiny, but some people like shiny brass. So there you go. Um, just put so some they, toilet bowl They've been on. talking back and forth. I just scrolled back a little ways. Someone <coughs> asked, have you ever used IOD transfers on a fridge? We have not. I've seen it done. I think it could be very successful, but just know this, when you have to go to clean said fridge, you might get some wear and tear on your transfer. And, well, if you sealed it really good, it would be fine probably, but like, we have eight people that live in this house, and so stuff gets kind of gross. Old people, young people, people of middle age persuasion like me, um, we spill stuff and you gotta scrub it, so you don't, don't wanna necessarily scrub an IOD transfer even if you seal it. So Scrap Fuzz says there's a very similar Seth Thomas metronome on eBay for 75 right now. So Well, you better scoop that you're up. Giving you're giving it away. Reseller. We'll make we'll make a little money, you'll make a little money. Oh, Kayla says I bought the metronome. And then you used your discount, you got an even better deal. What are you going to do with it, Kaylin? Are you going to put an all-seeing eye on it? <laughs> oh, Kaylin plays the piano. She does. There you go. <laughs> Took me a second. I'm like, she's going to actually use it for its intended purpose. All right. So this was probably a um, butter dish, judging by it. But I actually think this is a great dish for like jewelry and whatnot. And you could actually put butter on it if you were just putting it out for display. It does not have the top. Um, I paid a buck and I'm selling it for $6.95. It's good tarnished. Caitlin is musical. I know you're musical. I know you're musical. Didn't I just say she was musical? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe somebody I else. I believe you did. I'm discouraged. Or not discouraged. What? Which distracted. Bird, That's the word. I'm distracted. Sandra H. Which toilet bowl cleaner works on the brass? If you're wanting to tarnish stuff, we really like the Kirkland brand. No, it's not Kirkland. You obviously don't oh. buy the toilet bowl cleaner. It's, it's just from a Cos Costco Clorox toilet bowl cleaner. It doesn't it's, say Kirkland on it. Isn't no. that their brand? Yes, but it's not Kirkland weird i know it is weird um i've got to pull my hair over to the side though otherwise i'm gonna mess with it all night but it's just i'm sure they sell it other places other than costco but i've not found that particular kind and it just looks the best boy this these little guys here have so much detail i'm having to like jab the paint right. on them um the little glass can you reach this like the little glass dish with a metal lid yep so this originally was from pottery barn and I think I buy all things from Pottery Barn because when I was a newlywed, I could not afford Pottery Barn. And so to me, it says awesome. You like unknowingly buy it. You, you buy it and then you're like, oh, that's from Pottery Barn. I was like, oh, it's from Pottery Barn. But the reality is that Pottery Barn isn't really that special. We had a, we had a table from the Pottery Barn. The top is really heavy. And the wood was so soft, it dented and dinged every time the kids well, the lid wrote is. stuff on it for school. But it did look cool. Um, this is possibly pewter. What do you think? Like, feel how heavy that is. Um, I'm gonna vote that that's just like a uh, really heavy aluminum. Not even aluminum. I feel like it's almost like a stainless steel combination of something. Well, it's heavy duty. It ain't getting easy. A nice thick bottom. I paid we like a nice thick it, bottom. And I'm selling for seven ninety five. Sorry, I, could, I couldn't help it. On that, you note. served it up, and I had to. I had to tee off. All right. Uh, oh, I'm excited about this one. It's that hand embroidered art. I'll go grab it. You'll go grab it? Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm going in order down the list because I didn't, like, write the price on stuff, and it's just easier. So this is the sweetest little hand embroidered piece. It's a, and on the back it says, embroidered by Mary Jane, framed by Mary Jane. And then it's signed by Mary Jane. I paid $1, and it even shows the company. It's like this retro sticker of who framed it. It's the Inner Mountain Art Company from Salt Lake City. And I just loved the cute little design. This is very cottage core granny chic. I just bought it for a dollar. Is this bunny getting painted? Is that why it got left yeah. here? And I'm selling for $14.95. But I think that one's getting the copper patina is my thought. Okay, I'm gonna paint one more of these in the sandy blonde, and then we're gonna mix it up. I know yeah, you guys it. are like, what? More than one color. How, are, how can we possibly do that? I've got some old 57 hanging out over here. I'm gonna do some a fun finish on so these. So I'm like 99.9% .9 positive that these are brass candlesticks because they're made in India and they're heavy and this underneath looks like brass, but I wouldn't swear to it. Kelly so Rimshaw. I just called it oh, a painted, 
Look at you interrupting me when you got comments. See, it's not me, it's the it's, comments. It is the comments. A I dollar, thought you were done, so I was gonna go. A dollar fifty <laughs> each, and we're selling for nineteen ninety five. And go. I was just gonna answer Kelly's comment. She said she's never used Sandy Blonde before and she's loving it. It is a great neutral leaning like yellow, but I feel like it's like a tannish cream. It's just good. It's good. It's named after Debbie's, um, Debbie's design diary. That's who owns the paint company. It's named after her mom, who was a Sandy Blonde. So a little fun fact there. Okay, Artichoke has like 452 colors. I paid $5.99 for it. And I'm going to sell it for $19.95 and it's gonna get painted and waxed and it's gonna be yummy and delicious. And it's a nice, thick, heavy Artichoke. Weapon grade. Very French country. In fact, I think that's why we put the title of today is French Country. because Yeah, well, we have all these candlesticks that are kind of ornate. You've got stuff like this. I'm almost done painting this one. Then we're going to switch up colors. It's going to be exciting. Okay, this is a pants hanger. They're like, Jamie, why did you buy a pants hanger? It's of the antique persuasion, but I don't know that it's actually old. Um, and I paid 50 cents for it. myself for $4.95. But these are super cute with art prints in them. And then you just hang them on the wall. And every time I have one, they sell really fast. I'd love to like find a bunch of them, do a collection, but again, they fly out the door. They're really cool. Yeah, it is a lot like faded burlap, but I feel like it's more earthy than that. Okay. If that makes sense. Does that make sense, earthy? This is an awesome mirror. It's already sold. Oh, We're that's the one where I, I, you can see in the video, if you watch Monday's video, you can see me like pan over this and I actually had picked it up and I'm like, eh, no, but I didn't know it had a mirror in it. I saw it from the side. And then uh, Jamie came back through and she snagged it. It's the deal of the century. It was $2. It comes with hanging hardware on the back, these little um, clippy do things, but also the sawtooth. And I'm selling it for $29.95. So this is a really good deal. We'll take the mirror out because it's already coming out a little bit. And when we put it back, we'll use construction adhesive to really secure it in. And then this will get painted and wax something yummy. And it's going to look a lot better than it currently All does. All right. Raise your hand or comment either way. Can we get an amen? Is that what we're doing? No. For, do you guys, have you guys been enjoying us painting the rest of the thrift hall on Monday? and seeing kind of what creations we do with that. We usually take a little extra time, do some extra special finishes, hopefully give you guys some good ideas on what you can do with your thrifted stuff. Or I was thinking of shifting to doing like just furniture for like a month on Mondays. Here's the reason why. Y'all haven't been watching our videos as much and we don't know if it's because we've changed things up or because the YouTube algorithm or what, but we like to keep things on the up and up and we want to be able to and we grow like our hanging channel. Out with you guys. And we like hanging out with you guys. So we need to know, do you want more furniture or do you love the Monday? Les wants to know why there's two thumbs down. Les, you find those people and you tell them what for. All right, so just let us know in comments. Um, so this is a silver artichoke I paid $3.99 for and I'm selling it for $14.95. These always sell really well for me. They look really good. Megan says do. sage green with white wax and she'll buy them all. Sage green. Well, these have <laughs> She already didn't been say painted. all, but you know. These have already been painted, but we could paint them. No, Indian. the artichokes. Oh, well, I'm not painting the silver one, but I'll paint this one. I'll paint an aviary. That's as sagey as we get. Okay, small mirror. It's going to get painted. I paid $6.99 for it. It actually has the clip back here and it has this hook thing to hang it with, which is really, really nice. And we're gonna sell for $24.95 once it's painted and awesome. I'm sneaking some old 57 in here in the corner. Can you guys see it? It's going, it's going on these metal candlesticks. It's like the night of candlesticks. We've we do have a here. lot. We do have a lot. The only thing with you painting is I have to go get my own craft. Yeah. Well, we've been on for like 40 minutes already. Oh, maybe 50 minutes. Well, we were late a little bit. Okay, so Couple glass more, candlestick yeah. set. I paid $1.99 and $2.99, and these are gorgeous. Obviously not painting these, although we could paint glass. Um, and we're gonna sell them for $24.95 for the set of two. I didn't even know that those were candlesticks. I thought they were like weird apothecary jars. Those no, are awesome. No, they're candlesticks. We do need to take the heat guns up though to the top and get the wax off, but. Shelly says she doesn't care what we paint. She's gonna watch. Shelly, and... I love you. 
And Marie Potts says, love it all, love furniture more, but honestly good with anything. Well, we're gonna try some more furniture videos, I think. We might like, while we're painting furniture, we might pan over to the dining table and have projects we're working on, because we still have to get this crap done. Like, it doesn't do itself. We gotta get the crap done. We gotta get the crap done. Okay, guys. But I also have a bunch of furniture in the garage that Zeb oh. would like to get out of the garage. Oh, I did it. So he would be lots of happiness coming out of him. Lots of happiness. I don't know. <laughs> he Anyways, would be lots of happiness. He would be lots of happiness if I painted it. So maybe, maybe it's you. <laughs> you know, I'm sending some oh. vibes out there. I'm like, hey, Speaking let's paint which, furniture. Marlene just texted me, and we, I bought a dresser with a mirror from her. Yeah, there's one more piece. Anyway, she needs a spring and clock mechanism when we come. Oh, okay. Because her clock isn't working. Oh, The well. ornate one that she bought. Oh, okay. Well, I can fix it. There was so much cotton in the air from Cottonwoods Day. I'm going to take Benadryl when we're done. All right, we went through all those. Oh, treasure chest. Can you reach through and grab me that? Or do I need to go around? So this, I, when I was a little girl, my dad had a treasure, treasure chest like this, but bigger. And it's where he had all of his special like jewelry or whatever stuff in it. And so when his I saw it, I had to buy it. Yep. Um, it's like my, it's like every top drawer in the house of every piece of furniture in our house. I just keep all my stuff in Yeah, there. but he kept his in a treasure, treasure chest. It was a little bit larger than this. I'm selling this for $9.95 as is, but I bought it because the corduroy interior is like on point in this and i thought you know i could paint it but to me there's some little like boy out there or a little girl who loves pirates or something that needs this and it's definitely like an older piece it's not new um but it's still really well made and like i said whenever you find these usually the insides are hammered and there's a little bit of fuzz in here but otherwise this red corduroy is in really great shape so i love it all Trish, right. if you stopped watching those Thursday videos, you missed out on a bunch of antiques that we showed. They we were, were cool. Almost done. Oh, you know I'm what? I'm teasing. Did I miss where? I might not have made those live. I'll have to look for it because I didn't. I haven't found those. Tarnia has a pirate's time. treasure chest. That's what it looks like in here. Arr. Okay, hold on. Where am I at? Oh yes. One last thing is this little cup. I paid 25 cents for it. It's only copper on the outside. It's a little bit tarnished on the inside. I'm selling for $6.95. You could totally, like, it's not so tarnished that you couldn't drink out of it, I don't think, but you could also paint a succulent in it. So $6.95 for this cute little copper cup. All right, I gotta look for something real quick. Because those galvanized tubs, I swear, there it is, set of metal tubs. It's active. Oh, I did not. Okay, hold on. It's not in the thrift haul collection. All right, now we can do the tubs. Normally Ivy does this, but we're switching over to Ashley doing it. But Ashley's in St. George. And I felt really bad and I didn't want to bug her. And I was last minute getting it all photographed, so I put it all in. And I'm not as good as my homegirls at getting stuff in. So these I paid. each for so eight dollars for the pair and i'm going to sell them for 24.95 for the set i love buckets like this not only do we feed our sheep in one identical to this um but i also like to plant in them and these are, if you sand these with sandpaper and use toilet bowl cleaner you can age them too there's two Oops. i think i forgot one more thing there's this frame did i not photograph the frame Hold on. Okay, so if you've been watching me paint this old 57, that's gonna get some more work. It's pretty bright. It's not bad, it's good, good minty color. I like it as a base because of the color of these. We're gonna bring that back through, maybe a little white wax. <coughs> I don't know, we'll see. Now I have to see if this is in here. If it's not, I guess we'll do it next time. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. I'm not seeing it, so we'll do it next week. We have a big frame, so you have to watch next week to see it. Anyone think she will see my comment? I'm not reading comments. I'm reading comments today. So did Zeb see your comment? Who said it? I don't know. All right, I'm taking over comments now. 
I'm not reading Caitlin's comments. <laughs> no, I'm just taking over comments because you did a really good job, but now it's my turn. I'm not reading Caitlin's comments. Oops. Oops, my phone was still on. Oh, about oh, the Pyrex. Pyrex. It wasn't in the collection, but now it is. Oh, Sorry. okay. That's what it is. See, Seb does not see things. I did well. see it. I you ran ignored. right over it. <laughs> you ignored the Pyrex? Oh, there it is. I didn't know you hadn't shown the Pyrex. Okay, so this is a Amish butter print, which is super, super collectible. I paid a dollar for it. Um, other than a couple of like orangey spots that you could probably get off, the actual dish and design is in really great shape. Doesn't have the lid. If you have like a set of three of these, they can be worth well over $100. If you don't know Austin Powers, I can't, that probably made no sense. Anyways, um, $19.95 is how much I'm gonna sell it for and no lid. And ironically, it matches the uh, old 57 candlesticks. So Brian Hess asked, when we're talking about wax, do you mean candle wax? Um, we are actually talking about a paste wax that is made as like a furniture polish. It's a finishing wax that will give it a basically a protective sealant, and we like it because it gives it a nice flat sheen, which kind of gives it the uh, the illusion that it's it's older, been around a long time, but it's still protected. Just looking through, seeing. Oh, Nina, I did miss your comment on how elegant Jamie's hair looks today. Thanks. You guys, I showed you, there was a, and not only were we doing a thrift haul, but I gave you a hair DIY, because I did it. Well, I'm not even sure I was looking at it. All right, so um, my nose is running, but I'm happy to be here. I'm going to, do we have white stuff? When you're done with that, I'm going to paint this artichoke. Oh, no, I said I was going to paint an aviary. Brian Hess says thank you, works with resin, so I was looking to try something new. Resin is cool, but man, that's like some pretty serious stuff. The wax is super easy compared to resin. We've done a little bit with resin on the channel, but mostly um, wax and liquid top coats. Thanks, Janae. All right. Oh, uh, Stacy said, my hair is finally long enough for tiny sailor moon, sailor, uh, moon buns. When I was in junior high, I was obsessed with sailor moon. Oh my, this aviary is not had the lid on correctly. It's been a minute, huh? Is it yeah. time for heat gutting? Um, can you pass me that bead board that's on the Hey, Pamela the Peterson, here? just found our live. Have you watched before or is it your first time? Do we have to bust out the live chicken that you dance around on the first time? No, there's no live chicken that we dance around. <laughs> we gotta mess with people. <laughs> They're like, what did I sign up for? I thought this was a thrift haul, but now there's a live chicken involved. D Star 945 is excited because they got some wax on the way. Sailor Moon buns are like two buns. I think, she, did she, oh, she had them up here. Sorry, I had to think about it. Sailor Moon had her buns up here. Over your ears is Leia bun. Sailor Moon buns are up here, two of them. Did we have the heat gun out? Uh oh. We had, so I was so obsessed with Sailor Moon. I'm adding a little beadboard to this and some water because it's really dried up that we had a group and we called ourselves the Silver Moons. I know, original. And I really liked it. Junior high was a good time for me. Okay guys, it wouldn't be a live video without the heat gun. I'm gonna dry these up real quick. Should go fast. I've only got one coat on here. It's gonna be enough because I'm gonna give a heavy distress and then white wax. This is some chunky paint here. Always screw your lid on appropriately. Deborah says those are also called space bones. Oh, that, yeah, but we call them. But when she said Sailor Moon, I knew exactly what she was talking about. I'm going to give you a close-up of this with the uh, sandy blonde on it. It's good. I'm having to mush the paint on here. It's a little drippy because I added water and a little chunky because I got big chunks in here. This is aviary mixed with beadboard. I'm going for a blended finish here. Oh, uh, <laughs> Super Chat, Yumiko didn't buy anything, so she's sending some love. Well, Yumiko, thank you, Yumiko. We love you. Yeah, so our next channel member live is going to be this Tuesday at 10 a.m. 
Yep, it's coming you, up. You might be what you might be doing the front porch with us because Miss Dion asked me two months ago if I would do some uh, photography and be in her magazine, her uh, Turquoise Iris Journal, and I said, sure, that gives me enough time to get stuff done. And in true fashion, I'm finishing my front porch now so I can photograph it. Oh, my iPad died. I'm out of comments. They're all on you now. Any news on the store? Um, we're just waiting for our, our second our interview with the city. And then we're going to, uh, I'm working on, I gotta like get some paperwork. I got an email on Friday. They need a balance sheet and some other stuff. I hate numbers. They also were like, you need to give us like what you pay people every month, like accounts receivable or payable. Like we pay cash. So that's how that works. I feel like they're very astonished at businesses that do not have credit accounts. And I'm like, how do you get people to give you a credit when you're not even that old of a business? And then once we got going, we just never used credit. Yep. It's like, if you need more money for something, then you just pay more junk. <laughs> That's my accounts payable. That's our motto. Yeah. We'll have a paint a palooza and paint a bunch of stuff to get ready to buy the church. I was thinking we need to have a back porch sale. Are you saying there's stuff on my back porch? There, yeah. There's a lot of stuff back there. We could go live on a Saturday and start like early and then just keep going live all day till everything on the back porch was sold. <laughs> that would be awesome. And exhausting all at the same time. Did you turn it off or did your? No, I turned it off. I like this sage green. So we're gonna go white wax and we're gonna go dark wax. I'm gonna wet distress both. Jamie, do fans need to send a good report to the city council now? Um, no, we already, actually have really good rapport yeah. with the uh, the city officials I like the city. and the planning and zoning department. Likes us. So we we did everything they wanted to when we built this house, and we know quite a few of them now. So it's been it's a good relationship. So I'm friends with two members on the city council who already told me that I have their vote because they know what I'm doing and they're excited about what we're going to be doing with the church. And then um, the owner of the house is actually friends with the city mayor. So that helps. Um, and it's not like they're giving me special treatment, but I've already talked to them. You know what I mean? It's not like I don't know how they're going to take it. So really the biggest hurdle would be um, if any neighbors object, but thus far I haven't heard of any. We had to send a letter to everyone within 300 feet of the building. The people that own it are the ones technically doing the commercial zoning change and they have lived there since 1960. So everybody that lives around there knows them and likes them. So I don't think they would have a problem with them wanting to change the zoning. And by changing the zoning, it's allowing them to get so much more money for the property because it's worth more as a commercial. So it's a benefit to them. And Mrs. Lamb, the senior Mrs. Lamb, everybody loves her. So I feel like we're in good graces there. Will you have a back porch at the new store? Um, no. Nope. I don't think we'll need one right away. We have a, we'll have a, uh, no, there's no back porch. No, they're asking like where we store stuff. Oh, there's the basement. There's a basement. I mean, there's so much space at the store. I'll have plenty of, I'll probably, let's be honest. Okay? I may have to put I'll an elevator put a shed in. out back. But there's, there's a big garage. There's, oh yeah, there's, there's the garage. There's a couple, there's another outbuilding that used to be the Bishop's storehouse. And then it was the Sunday school thing up for the church. Yeah. And then, you know, now it's the sewing room. We, yeah. So you got a little, oh, 57 on that. Yeah, I saw it snuck over there. Oh, I was going to wet distress these first. Got distracted talking about the church. <clears throat> so this is aviary mixed with um, beadboard. And I totally forgot to tell you guys, if you want to get the paint that we're using, you can go to jamierayvintage.com. That's our paint and product website. JRV Home is where you buy the stuff. Jamie Ray Vintage is where you buy the stuff to make the stuff. Okay, I'm gonna wet distress these ones first. We're gonna go a little long tonight. I know you guys are sad. 
because we've got to get a couple of these finished. So we can show you what they look like. Okay. A bristle in this or something. Not from me, it's from like whoever painted this the first time. All right, so wet distress, one coat, got a, got a little bit of good shabby on it there. Will the reno be as extensive as your home? We're not building any extra buildings, and that's no. honestly what took the most amount of time. Yep. And we're hoping it's not as extensive. Uh, we're just taking out what they've added and opening it up, and I'm not living there. I feel like there's a lot involved when you're living somewhere. But we just need to make it look good and make it structurally sound and we can always do stuff later. Yeah, we got to get it. We have to get it back up and running fairly quick because we need to uh, move the shop over there and get it going. So how long do you wait before you sand distress on decoupage paper till it's all the way dry and no longer sticky or tacky? So however long that is, it's not a specified amount of time. It just depends on the products you use and the humidity in your area. I know Anna is in Florida, so it's significantly more humid in Florida than it is um, in Utah. We're the second driest state in the nation. So things dry a lot faster here. I'm just hitting the high spots and a little bit in between on these. Amy Jolly says, I parked at your store a month ago and saw your back porch, lots of good stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff back there. Some of it was just left there in my defense. And some of it's like we hoard boxes because you just never know when you're gonna need a good box to ship it. We ship a lot of weird size stuff. It's a lot of work. Like our gals that ship for us are amazing because they never know what's coming in. All right, so I'm going to try something daring. I'm not going to clear wax this before I dark wax it. I'm just because I want it to kind of change the color of this orangey wood coming through. So I want it to take on that dark wax. So I'm going to do a heavy dark wax and we'll see what we get. Worst case scenario, you know, I blast all this paint off of here Monday and we start over, but I think it's going to be good. Okay. This is the DIY yeah, we, dark wax. It's really nice and creamy, not to be confused with black wax. Dark wax is more of a brown antique color. So we don't spray as much because we don't have a dedicated spray area. Oh, we were just talking about spraying today though. Yeah, but we plan on it um, and the new shop will have it. They said we need an HD TV show. Ironically, we were approached by a production company, but, um, and they were super excited, wanted to do, I think it's called the sizzle reel. Yeah. Um, but they cost about $20,000 to produce and with the pandemic, a lot of the big um, networks are not putting out the money. So if you do a sizzle reel, you got to come up with sponsors. And I'm like, I don't know anybody with $20,000. So we put that on the back burner because we're busy and we love YouTube, but maybe someday it'll happen. We thought about doing, it's called crowdfunding, essentially like a GoFundMe for like coming up with a, uh, a sizzle reel, but a lot of people have stuff going on. So we're just gonna keep on, keep it on. All right, so there it is with just dark wax on it. I will wipe that back and I might even come back with some clear wax. But for now, we're just gonna go heavy dark wax on it, wipe it back and see what we get. And this takes a few days to cure up, to cure hard. So we've got a couple days to work on it. It'll be, it'll be dry to the touch in about an hour, about the same as a regular top coat. Right. If you're international and you're, I, there's paint like down in the holes and it's bubbling out, so it's taking forever. If you're international and you want JRV home items, you have to email Caitlin because we don't ship internationally on that website because things are so much more expensive. We, if we were incorrect at all, we'd lose our shirts. If we're incorrect on this website, which happens every now and then, we'll lose five or 10 bucks on an item, no big deal, right? But if you're incorrect on an international, it could cost you big time. So we like to see exactly what people want, figure out how it will fit well in a box, and then we can give you a shipping quote. Somebody commented earlier about like prices and stuff. When we first started doing this, our prices were a lot less expensive, but we weren't shipping them. Things weren't going on a website. It was just me and Zeb throwing junk 
in the store and we didn't own the store so we didn't have any like also insurance. it was six years ago oh yeah inflation. And, th and things honestly in the area we were getting stuff for like yeah things we would get up. a whole huge tall boy dresser high boy dresser for like, like 20, 20 bucks. bucks but we didn't have insurance we didn't have employees we didn't have a website we didn't have the cost of shipping expenses computers all of those things and as we've grown we've had to increase the cost to cover all that but the other thing that's really important to me too is our bread and butter was really furniture not so much the small items but i want to make sure that we're pricing correctly so that way other people because we have not just people we sell to but we have other people that watch us that are resellers they have to make a living too so i want to make sure that i'm charging enough to make so they can make a living because they're not maybe they're not doing youtube or doing all these other things that they make income from and maybe they're just reselling so we have to set a bar there to where everybody can can do okay and a lot of times what it is is it's not necessarily like we hunt and we look real hard for some really great deals we still get good deals but just because we got a good deal doesn't mean that we need to price it super low because next time we may not get a good deal but the piece is still worth a lot more than what we uh what we paid for but we hope that no matter whether you're buying nature of the beast <laughs> yeah whether you're buying from us or you're just watching what we do we hope that you get something from it meaning you learn how, a new skill or you learn uh maybe something you didn't think about doing some with um something before and i'm never gonna lie to you about what i pay and sell things for because at the end of the day being honest is like really important to me and sometimes we actually have people that'll shop us that are resellers because we'll have things like that. What was that thing the called? Metronome. The TikTok, the metronome, where we're selling it for 24, but it's worth more than that. It's going for 75 on eBay. <laughs> I don't care. I make money. They make money. Okay. It's all good. So this is just the Sandy Blonde wet distressed. This is Sandy Blonde with the dark wax. We're going to see if we can control this a little. I didn't wax it beforehand because I wanted to see what it would do and I wanted to tone back that orangey. I don't know. I, I don't know what we're gonna get. Serious white wax. I think now it just looks like it's weathered wood. <laughs> some of it's coming back and it'll it'll lighten up some because this is this is wet wax, right? It's gonna Lisa dry says out. She's excited, she can't wait for us to paint in our driveway. She's been following us since we had 17,000 followers. Ooh, that was a long time ago, Lisa. I was like, thanks I, for hanging around that long. I can't pretend I'm anything that I'm not because the people that have been following us for a long time or watch the old videos are like, whoa, Jamie wasn't even wearing a bra on that video. Like there were times <laughs> we were so crazy back then. We didn't talk to you guys a lot about it, but we did so much work just to make ends meet because we weren't making any money on YouTube. We didn't have the millions of businesses that we <laughs> ventures going on. Um, and so we would have to paint so many pieces of furniture just to feed our family that when we went to go shoot a video i mean sometimes it was like I was legit like, i don't have time to throw on a bra just film what i'm doing we'll make a video with that and just so film I, my hands just film my hands not my face and so i look back at those and i'm like you know what it was worth it because you know it wasn't that long ago like it jack was jack was just a little guy but it goes by quick all right, I'm going to white wax over the top of this um, aviary mixed with beef board. Okay, so we might have to show you Monday. This is going to tone down a little bit. I actually really like... No, that's like, awesome. I like that. I really like the way this turned out with the sandy blonde and dark wax. And once you wipe it back, and it's going to continue to cure all weekend, and this will lighten up, and the dark will really just hang out in those cracks and really make it pop. Heidi says, I've been watching since before you started five videos a week. That is before 13,000, because that's about where we were when we hit that. Because it was right before I went to boot camp. That's why I know. Yeah. I remember thinking that I was like hot crap because I had 13,000 followers on YouTube. <laughs> and, and that's nothing to joke about, man. We worked hard for that. For a lot of videos, a lot of hustle. We were like 65. <laughs> oh, you just flung white wax over here. Oh, oh well, sorry. it's getting blended in. It's a blended finish The waxes now. do mix, so. It's not a, it's definitely not a, uh, what's that called? A sprint? It's a long game for So us. I don't know, did I tell you that I got a notification the other day that we hit our thousandth upload on YouTube? No. Yeah, a thousand videos now. We should have celebrated, that's awesome. Maybe we should do a giveaway, maybe next week. Yeah, maybe next week we'll do a thousand video giveaway. When we first started doing five videos a week, there were five edited videos. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I was tired. 
<laughs> you know what? That really launched us when we really, when we did that. So I'm just wiping back the white wax, guys. That really helped our channel grow a ton. And it was worth it. We were, I remember telling Zeb, it was because we just weren't really going anywhere with YouTube. We're making enough money for the time. And I was like, fine, we'll do five videos a week for a year. We were up in and Park then, City for our anniversary. We took one night to go up and like celebrate it because we were so busy with custom orders that we, we couldn't leave town or really go anywhere. So we went an hour away, got someone to come watch the kids for a night. My and parents. Was it your, oh yeah, your parents yeah. were in town. Yep, and I, I said, listen. So in my mind, I was thinking, we're never gonna be able to do five videos a week. So I'll do this and then we won't have to make YouTube videos anymore because at the she time- She thought she was gonna crush my will to live editing time, five videos. At the time I was like, videos. we just need to be painting stuff because that's how I'm gonna make all my money. And so I told him we'll do five videos a week. And then after a year when it still doesn't work, we can give it up. And he was like, all right, but it worked. <laughs> our channel grew. We almost died, but we didn't. And our channel grew, so it was worth it. But did you die? But did you die? I did not. Remember, hold on. Remember when Zeb would have to explain every video how to use the Harbor Freight spray gun? It was for real. Like no one knew how to use it. It was like I was the first one ever doing a video with chalk paint in the Harbor Freight spray gun. But you know, there's like seven or eight really detailed videos on how to spray chalk type paints and DIY paint and even milk paint. Um, actually, there's probably, we, we sprayed everything. There's probably about a hundred videos of spraying, but there's about, there's a play with, playlist with about seven or eight videos that are just dedicated to how to set your gun up, how to clean it, how to, how to mix the paint, how to spray the top coat right, without getting this. streaks or, or shiny spots. I like these too. Yeah, I'm gonna leave those that way, I think. Are we gonna white wax them? Or yeah, them? so you can see here, this one's starting to dry out a little bit. Right. And this is with no wax. This is, oops, trifle bowl. This is just wet distress. So you can see kind of the difference here. So wet distress, this had a good dark wood on it. I wanted to darken up the wood tones on this a little Renee's bit. Renee's been here since I started. Yeah, yeah she's been here since I was You're I was cheating, born. Renee. You got like the, hey, you, you got the family, hey, you have to subscribe because we need to hit 100 subscribers notification. <laughs> hey, man, I beg, plead still. People are like, how do you get subscribers? I'm like, in the beginning, you beg. And you put your video on any platform or any group that will allow it. And then every time you have a video, you got to remember, please like and subscribe. Because, hey, you got to do what you got to do. The YouTube algorithm wants things that are splashy and people that use clickbait and all that kind of stuff and we've just never really done any I of that stuff. I have a hard stuff. time with that. Uh, I don't want to like fake people out and then be like oh yeah we're actually doing this in this video. Yeah or they like try to make it more than it is which is fine if that's what people want to do but we're just going to paint furniture and hopefully people like it. Okay. Or build a house. All right, so now I showed you the difference between wax and no wax. Now I'm gonna show you the di or difference between, so this is not wiped back. You could just leave it like this. It'll be fine, it'll cure up. I like it wiped back. But this wiped back is, I think, a really understated, nice look. Janae says, can't stand clickbait, right? Nobody really likes it. But you click on it, because sometimes I do. Like, why did I just you're, click on that? You click on it and you're like eight minutes in, you're like, all right, when are we gonna get to the guy that's like jumping a thousand feet with no parachute? Well, it's usually like, I have a few channels I follow that are my friends. And so I, it'll be on their channel if I wanna see what's going on. So this is with white wax and the sandy blonde. That's really yummy too. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm really liking the sandy blonde. Like you used it the other day. I'm like, how oh, we need to use that more. Yeah, I used it for delays, which I haven't used um, I got the glaze out. <laughs> yeah, I haven't used that before. So the old 57, I'm thinking white wax. Yeah, I was just going to white wax those, just straight up. But they need out. to be wet distressed. We'll yep. do that on our on Monday. So we have a new piece of furniture in the garage. We'll get that painted. And then what we'll do on Monday is we'll just set up the table over there, or maybe here, and we'll get things painted, and we'll just kind of snip it in and out of what Sounds we're doing. Good. But mostly furniture. How about that? And we're not going thrifting on Monday because it's the kids' dance festival. 
to going to the dance festival. I don't know how we're going to get that video done. We got a dance festival and then we got to go to Marlene. Usually what happens is the, the Monday video goes up on Tuesday these days. But Tuesday we have business coaching and it kills our video if we don't get it up. So we'll have to get up early. Yep. Get the first coat. So the video looks a little dark when we start. It's because we got up at 6 a.m. Which actually isn't that dark these days. No, nope, it's bright. I'm an early riser. I'm a late to better. <laughs> Why do the lives hurt on YouTube? Um, they don't necessarily, if you do too many and not edited, then the algorithm doesn't like it. But if you do too many videos close together, so let's say we do a video Tuesday morning and that, or we do our uh, channel membership Tuesday morning and then we put up a video Tuesday night, it just won't get as much play. So we like to have 24 hours. But you know, videos. it's fine, but we make the videos so people can see yeah. them and watch and hopefully learn from them. Most of our videos are like a DIY video with like some dad jokes on the side. Oh, um, and then we do have, if you don't get our text messages, if you want a text message when we go live or we got a sale or anything like that going on, Caitlin could drop the link for that and we'll also put it in the description box. Or if you just go to jamierayvintage.com, you can sign up for text messaging. Okay, dark wax, similar piece, same color paint, white wax. Cute, I like it. And then here's the aviary mixed with beadboard and that is a good that is a great combo it is a really it's good very sagey. Sagey. somebody said they'd buy if it was sagey i don't know and i used all the rest of the paint you better hurry and get it because someone else is going to scoop it up if you don't is it me or is it like oddly satisfying to use the last bit of paint did you use the last bit I did. of aviary i scraped it out nice all right you guys thanks for joining us um be sure to share this video give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to jane marie vintage for more DIY. Bye guys. Love you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, dance while I walk around the huge island I built.